Okay. This is the walkway. This is the laundry. It's the second building from the parking lot. It's the middle unit, second door coming down. Trees should not be closer than 25 feet to a structure. I get that. It's community, Tennessee in common. More Tennessee in common. Very various areas around the property. That's not uncommon. This is the front of your home. Faces south. We have high soil conditions and wood rot, which is also good for your contact. Now over here, we see how the sliding glass door stoop is tilting down towards us, away from the structure. More high soil conditions. Now, the front door stoop is, and they have uh, installed a little ramp here. It's facing down towards the unit, so we've kind of got a teeter-totter back and forth effect going. This is the storm door there beyond the scope of this inspection. We do not have a door knocker, but we've got gates, so doorbells are not a requirement. <coughs> Moving into the home, right here, yeah, that's a pretty good hump. That's a pretty good hump. I got a straight edge around here, we'll put it on it. This door has a double cylinder deadbolt, so it takes a key to get out. But at least we have the sliding door in case of an emergency. We do not have a sliding door screen. Paneling. Got a little bit of a bow here. Coming on along. These steps, you're not supposed to have more than a 30 second of an inch differential in your step hair stair step height differential. That's obviously more. So this is something of a trip hazard. This handrail is supposed to be at least 34 inches high. And it's, it's not even close to that. And it's supposed to be graspable. Um, you know, if you got arthritis, like I have a little bit of arthritis in this hand. You know, it might cause a problem. And it's only a little over about a foot difference here is what we're making. But I mean, since we do have a handrail, um, but just know that you don't have a guardrail. You don't have a guardrail. Coming along, and here's the kitchen. And I kind of pulled some things out. And uh, I'm, you know what, I'm going to show them to you um, in another video. I'm going to break this up a little bit. But, um, have I made ice yet? So far I haven't seen any ice. But, see these deflections here? You get a good sense of that. Bows in right in here. So. This is the dining area. This is the air filter. This is the thermostat. It's another video too. Now I have taken my mask off. I wore a mask in and I opened these doors. I open this door. I know that nobody's living here. I feel like it. I know they haven't been here in a while. I know they're not going to be here after I leave for a while. So I feel good about the aerosols. So I took my mask down so that you could hear me. The bathroom. We're going to go into that in a little more detail as well. Um, Closet, closet. 
We've got four cracked floor tiles in here and then a, a pet door over there. And we've got the double doors. We've got a little bit of some daylight in there. And there's a little bit of energy that way. The pet door also installed on this door. So I guess at one time there was a litter box in there. Should have a light switch around here. Be nice. This is the laundry, and we'll take care of the laundry with the appliances. We'll do the plumbing and appliances all together. Actually, let's do the plumbing and the appliances. This is the electric service panel. And that's it. You've got two doors to the ex three doors to the exterior. No actual windows. Neighbors on both sides, a little bit of crooked floor here, some cracked floor tiles here, cat door, dog door, cat door, 